Get him out of here. I don't want to see him. Nicholas' mother screamed in exasperation, following the dismal surprise she had just received in the delivery room. It was a traumatic experience for her to carry her kid, Nick Vukujic, happily in her womb for nine months, only to give birth to a physically challenged child. Isn't that peculiar? She had loved him from the moment she saw him in the womb, but she was torn between rushing emotions of anxiety, concern, and terror about what life had in store for him. He is one of just seven people known to have Tetra Amelia syndrome, a rare condition in which both arms and legs are missing. His toes were originally linked, but he underwent surgery to separate them so he could use them as fingers to complete other tasks like turning pages and picking up a cup. He can now use his little toes to operate an electric wheelchair, a computer, a cell phone, and other tasks without assistance. Even without arms and legs, he was determined to make the most of his existence. Fortunately for him, his parents reared him in a loving manner that enabled him to overcome obstacles. He remembered his father's words, You are a gift, but packaged differently. Nick was recently named one of the top ten motivational speakers in the world by Wealthy Gorilla. The essay discusses his past problems, education, pivotal moment, love life, interests, accomplishments, and ministry. The truth is that no impairment, whether physical, mental, or emotional, can't be overcome. Join me on a tour through Nick Vujicic's incredible life. Nicholas Vujicic was born on December 4, 1982, in Melbourne, Australia, to Dwanka and Borislav Vujicic. He had no limbs due to focamelia, it wasn't hereditary, and it wasn't caused by thalidomide. There was nothing negative on the ultrasound. There was simply no medical need for it. He was the first disabled child in Australia to be incorporated into the school system. He was bullied from every angle. He was teased, avoided, and left out of games. With each passing day, his concerns grew. He went to Runcorn State High School in Queensland, Australia, where he was the head boy and a member of the student council, which organizes humanitarian projects and fundraising events for local charities and disability campaigns. Nick tried some prosthetics when he was six years old, but they were more of a hindrance than a help because they restricted his movement. He had apparently learned to perform some things without them, no extra pounds. Unfortunately, he was diagnosed with depression at the age of eight. He believed he'd be a burden the rest of his life and that no one would want to marry him. His life possibilities were as good as a mirage because of these strange thoughts. He was just interested in his arms and legs. He couldn't handle with the rejections he received outside the age of ten, despite the fact that his home was a haven from outer storms. Then he attempted to drown himself in a bathtub, but his love for his parents prevented him from doing so. Nick earned a bachelor's degree in commerce from Griffith University with a focus on planning on accounting. His mother recognized that his position was affecting him and decided to show him a newspaper article about a man with a terrible impairment far worse than Nick's. Nick Vujicic began to feel appreciative for life after that. He also stated that once he established a relationship with God, he felt serenity. Despite his inability to make some things happen effortlessly, he thought that what matters is what you do with what you have. As a result, he told himself repeatedly that he's not afraid to fail and try again. Nick can now brush his teeth and wash his hair without the use of prosthesis. He can now write at a rate of 43 words per minute, throw tennis balls, play the drums, shave his head, obtain a glass of water, and answer the phone. He enjoys swimming, golfing, skiing, skydiving, surfing, and fishing in his spare time. Nick's a big fan of trying new things. I'll leave the rest to the photographs. Despite his disability, he married the love of his life on February 12, 2012, at the age of 30. When people asked Kanai why she chose to marry a man without limbs, she explained that she'd been in a relationship with physically flawless men who had nothing to give her in return. Nick impressed her with a good heart, love, compassion, kindness, a huge heart, and a sense of humor. Nick originally met his Japanese-American wife in Texas, where they fell in love at first sight. Kanai didn't give up on Nick despite a personal crisis brought on by failing enterprises and stealing. He became fearful and depressed, but Kanai stayed by his side like never before. She chose to seek a nursing career to help support Nick and herself until he's able to return to work. Their engagement lasted nine months before they wedded blissfully. His proposal to her is one of a kind. Can I kiss your hands, baby? Nick recalled something, and she reached out her hand. She discovered he was biting her fingers while trying to attach a ring a few seconds later. She said yes and cried happy tears.
They now have two adorable boys and two stunning twin daughters. Vujicic's bravery continued to astound everyone in 1990, earning him the Australian Young Citizen Award. He received a nomination for the Young Australian Award in 2005. Nick Vujicic is the creator of Life Without Limbs, a nonprofit organization and ministry established in Los Angeles, California, with the mission providing hope and optimism to the crippled and young people who are just starting out in life. Living in a damaged home without love, he says, is worse than not having limbs. He started the secular motivational organization Attitude is Altitude. He and his colleagues frequently speak to corporate suicide prevention and anti-bullying groups, sharing his faith in Jesus Christ. He began speaking at the age of 17 when he began giving presentations to his prayer group and went on to travel the world for five years. Thanks to excellent family in other countries that encouraged him to travel the world and pursue his aspirations. Nick also won the Doorpost Film Project's first prize at the First Methodist Independent Film Festival and the Feel Good Film Festival. In 2010, he starred in the short film The Butterfly Circus and was named Best Actor for his portrayal of Will. In addition, he released a DVD called Biography of a Determined Man of Faith. Nick Vujicic presented a mind-blowing speech at the World Economic Forum's annual meeting in Switzerland in 2011. Nick has spoken to world leaders, orphans, and the poor in 58 countries throughout the world. Despite this, Nick went ahead and released Something More as a music video in 2011. Vujicic has published almost 10 books in several languages – English, Spanish, Portuguese, German, Korean, Vietnamese, and Chinese editions. Life Without Limbs, Limitless, Unstoppable, Hope Inspired Life, and more are available on Amazon. It's all about attitude. Be the hands and feet. Stand strong. Give me a hug. Personal trainer. Tien's Bon. Hold on. Irresistible. The unstoppable force of faith. Love without limitations. Finally, I'd like to know how you're feeling right now. I'm sure you're feeling inspired. His story is meant to show you that no one, absolutely no one, should be dismissed. You can get the most out of life if you possess one quality. Determination. Are you at a crossroads in your life and don't know what to do? Have people abandoned you or called you names? Simply grin and tell yourself, I can be anything I want. I've never met a thankful person who was bitter or a bitter person who was thankful. Nick Vujicic The disease of excuse isn't restricted to a specific group of people. It's now a common default method for stunting an individual's progress. Because our minds aren't accustomed to look at what we currently have, excuses are a natural reaction. This lack mentality is a source of justification. We've mastered the ability to always look for what we don't have, a talent that's actually a negative ability. Hey, might be a popular argument. You providing all these motivational speeches is fine, but how will I progress if I don't focus on what I lack? Relax. Your concept of growth must be unlearned. It doesn't happen if you obsessively focus on what you don't have, whine about it, or create excuses. Growing literally implies a progressive acquisition of a specific characteristic or attribute, or being better than you were yesterday. Would you work towards happiness or with happiness if you were thankful today? Recognize the subtle differences, not by avoiding difficult tasks, not if you question yourself. But you may start by being grateful for what you already have. He once said, I have many dreams and goals that I have set to achieve in my life, I want to become the best witness I can be of God's love and hope, to become an international inspirational speaker and be used as a vessel in both Christian and non-Christian venues. I want to become financially independent by the age of 25 through real estate investments, to modify a car for me to drive, and to be interviewed and share my story on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Writing several best-selling books has been one of my dreams, and I hope to finish writing my first by the end of the year. It will be called No Arms, No Legs, No Worries. That's it for today's video, my dear listeners. We hope you liked it as much as we did. If you liked the story, please don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to activate the notification bell so YouTube can notify you every time we upload a new video at Viral Story.